using recursive formulas for geometric sequences. A recursive formula allows us to find any term of a geometric sequence by using the previous term. Each term is the product of the common ratio and the previous term. For example, suppose the common ratio is 9, then each term is 9 times the previous term. As with any recursive formula, the initial term must be given. Recursive formula for a geometric sequence. The recursive formula for a geometric sequence with common ratio r in first term a subscript 1 is the following. a subscript n is equal to r times a subscript n minus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 2. So, given the first several terms of a geometric sequence, we want to write its recursive formula. Number one, we need to state the initial term. Number two, we need to find the common ratio by dividing any term by the preceding term. And number three, we're going to substitute the common ratio into the recursive formula for a geometric sequence. For example three, we're using recursive formulas for geometric sequences. We're going to write a recursive formula for the following geometric sequence. So the first thing we need to do is identify, well, we can see that the first term is 6. And so the first term is given as 6, and now we have to find the common ratio by dividing the second term by the first term. So we're going to take r, which is going to equal 9 divided by 6, which is going to give us 1.5. So now the common ratio is 1.5. And now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the common ratio into the recursive formula for the geometric sequence and define a subscript 1. Well, a subscript n is equal to r times a subscript n minus 1. So we're going to replace r to be 1.5 since that's the common ratio. So the formula a subscript n is going to equal 1.5 times a subscript n minus 1 for n is greater than or equal to 2. And we know that the first term, which was given, was 6. So, analysis. The sequence of data points follows an exponential pattern, and the common ratio is also the base of an exponential function, as shown in Figure 2. So the first term is 6, so the order pair is 1 and then 6. The second term is 9, so that's 2 and then 9. Okay, the third term is 13.5. So that's 3 and then 13.5. And then the fourth term is 20.25. So it's 4 and then 20.25. Now question and answer. Do we have to divide the second term by the first term to find the common ratio? The answer is no. We can divide any term in the sequence by the previous term. It is, however, most common to divide the second term by the first term because it is often the easiest method of finding the common ratio.